Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose. In this episode, we're making three amazingly delicious after-dinner cocktails featuring Grey Goose vodka. All right, we're gonna start with like the simplest cocktail of all time, but also one of my favorites. Okay. And that's gonna be Grey Goose vodka on the rocks. So we're gonna start by getting a beautiful chunk of ice. And then we're going to add two ounces of Grey Goose vodka. Okay. So one of the reasons why I love Grey Goose on the rocks is because it's just like so smooth and delicious and crisp. And it's got that single distillation, which really just lends to having like a nice mouthfeel, great flavor. We're gonna mix it just to give it a little bit of dilution here. And then we're gonna grab our beautiful pear slices and just right in there and it'll kind of just absorb yeah. nicely into that Grey Goose on the Rocks. So easy build for an after dinner cocktail. Now I'm gonna keep it simple, but take it up a notch. And we're going to make a drink called the Gypsy Queen. This is actually a drink that first started appearing in the 1930s. And I think it's making a little comeback today, which is really fun. So we're going to start by adding two ounces of Grey Goose vodka. Then we're going to use some Benedictine, which is a really nice sort of botanical and herbal liqueur with notes of honey. We're going to add an ounce of that. So as I mentioned, the honey kind of makes it a little sweeter than maybe a traditional dry vermouth in a martini cocktail. Okay, so not overly sweet. But... No, just, um, just a nice honey sweetness from that Benedictine that's really gonna help um, offset any of the herbs and, and botanicals. And then just a dash of Angostura bitters. And now we're gonna give it a nice little stir with some more beautiful ice here. And now we're gonna stir. So I like to stir until it gets a little frosty on the outside of my mixing glass, which is actually starting to happen now. So if anybody hasn't stirred a cocktail before, is there a duration that's acceptable or? People say 50 rotations, which I think is a pretty good benchmark, but I look for that frost forming. And we're just gonna pour that right in here. It's that's such a pretty amber color, right? Amazing. You can smell it, right? Yeah, it smells delicious. And just garnish with a nice lemon twist. Love so that. what do you have for us this evening? The perfect, I repeat, the perfect post-dinner cocktail, the espresso martini cocktail. So this was created by legendary Dick Ratzel over in London in the mid 80s. Ounce and a half, Grey Goose Vodka. We're gonna do one ounce of espresso, three quarters of coffee liqueur, and we're gonna add a pinch, just a pinch of sea salt. Eight. Got a nice little frosty. Yeah, look at it, yours is frosty for sure. And we're actually gonna double strain so we don't get any of those ice chips in our cocktail. Beautiful. Next up, we're gonna garnish three coffee beans. And we have the espresso martini. I love it. I think this might have been one of our most delicious shows yet. I have to agree with you. What's your go-to after dinner drink? Let us know in the comments. And click below for even more great drink recipes.